Hi everybody, this is John Wright with OpenStanceAcademy.com. Today I want to talk about how to use your takeaway to flatten your golf swing and how to flatten your golf swing to adjust to an open stance. The first thing I want to talk about is kind of how people go about adjusting to an open setup. Uh, if you're like me, the first thing that you do is you keep old movements. One of the old movements that I kept was a little bit of a reverse C in my golf swing. Um, and that's fine, it's perfectly logical and athletic, but it doesn't really address the problem. So uh, consistency and you know, uh, power and uh, kind of the, the overall goal of hitting your ball dead solid, dead straight right at your target. So something had to change. And what changed was my backswing. So I want to thank, first of all, John for writing in and uh, asking me to do a video about how to start your backswing because it led me down this, this process of thinking of what compensations we use. So I'm going to combine kind of a diagnostic video and a, a how-to video. And the first thing I want to address is John's concern about how to, how to start the golf club back and kind of how to think about it. So one of the ways to think about using your backswing to adjust an open stance is we know that the open stance is a steepening uh, setup, an impact steepening setup. So we have to shallow with our golf swing. We have to shallow a steepened impact to make it optimal. So how do we do it with our golf swing and how does our takeaway feedback uh, compensation? Well, let's start with the back swing. So I'm gonna set up parallel and I'm gonna take the golf club back away from the target. Okay, it comes back straight away from the target like this, okay? It's kind of standard. Now, if you open your stance and do the same thing, obviously the club's gonna go back outside the target line, so you'd have to reroute it like Lee Trevino. And what you, what you have to do, what you have to sacrifice in order to do that is you're gonna to have to eliminate a power component of your golf swing. And it's always the wrists. For any golfer who reroutes the club, they, they have to, take speed away from their golf swing in order to coordinate the rest of their body motion. So I don't recommend taking the golf club back anywhere but on the plane. Okay, so if I set up open, and this is an extreme example, but if I set up open to the target and I align my shoulders parallel to the target line, that pretty much takes care of where the golf club's gonna start. If I line up this way, the club's gonna start back Along the, target, or along the target line and not along my feet. If I take it back along my feet, it goes out here. If I take it back along the target line, it goes back here. So the way that you choose to align yourself, feet, hips, and shoulders, will take care of where you start your golf club in your backswing. John uh, wrote and said, why don't you describe, you know, kind of the image of swinging around your waist instead of your head, which is in my book, The Open Stance and Three Short Game Lessons. And that's, that leads me to the next kind of part of getting into the full swing, which is the trailing elbow. So if I take the golf club back and I have the image of swinging it around my waist, the club will have to come back this way, right? Low. And look at my trailing elbow when I do that. You see my trailing elbow is in position inside my midline of my body. And the club, look at the height of the golf club in my backswing, it's very low. Now, if I take it back and I just make the adjustment just for comparison of raising the club here, and I set my feet open, you can see how vertically I've allowed that club to swing with my arms just because I let this elbow get away from me. So instead of Instead of a reverse C to compensate and shallow impact, I'm using the plane of the golf swing itself, and I'm using my trailing elbow to regulate that, that plane. One of the things that that will cause you to do is hit your ball thin initially, especially if you've been a reverse C guy or somewhere in between, you're gonna hit your ball thin to start. Just keep the, keep the trailing elbow and adjust your movement around that. Okay, so your setup open, that's a setup element, and you're concentrating on keeping this elbow flat and down here, that's a swing element. Concentrate on those two things. 
okay, with the image of swinging the golf club around your waist, that will help you to adapt your motion to adjust to your setup and your swing, your swing thought. So one setup thought, one swing thought, and adjust your motion around it, okay? So you will have much more success knowing that those two things are locked down than wondering if they should be something that you mess with. I'm saying address it first so that you can build around those two things that are very repeatable. Uh, if you have any more questions, visit my website, www.openstanceacademy.com. Until then, good luck and I'll see you soon.